so this is my potential new home. A big step in, not a little step in. Needs a little bit of work and it was already pre-converted and I'm gonna probably have to rip all of that out and start again. The guy who owned it before me it was a smoker and so everything kind of smells bad. Hi and welcome if you're new here. Hey, my name is Flossy. I'm a photographer, amateur freediver with a passion for the ocean. And a queer card slinger. And I currently live in this 1977 GMC van. I'm a maker and an adventurer at heart, led by an insatiable curiosity to learn more about the mysteries of the unknown. And to prove to myself, if they can do it, I can do it too. Thanks for joining me, and I'd really appreciate if you could hit the subscribe button and the notification bell below so you don't miss an episode. I hope you enjoy the vlogs, build projects, and explorations of the oceans, lakes, and forests just as much as I enjoyed making them. And I look forward to sharing more adventures with you here. Hi, and welcome to the inside of my 9099 E350 Utilimaster Ford Step Van. And today we begin the repairs and deconstruction of all of this so that we can build again fresh, new, and most of all, it won't smell like cigarette smoke. <laughs> However, before any building could begin, we had to extend the parking lot so that both vehicles would fit. We are making good progress. I guess we can put a sink drain out there. It looks like it got very wet at one point and it started rushing. It is disgusting. I'm gonna try and take this down. And then I'm gonna start on this. So I'm gonna to decide what I'm gonna do with this stove. Do I keep it and put it in my new house? Do I sell it?
supports. Really good advice. Definitely couldn't have done it without those. not attached here this is leaning on here my little support here did the trick so it doesn't come crashing fucking down I think this is the only one now that's holding it up to this so I can truly see what a mess we're doing just like that Not bad for day one's deconstruction work. Now we've just got to sort it, see what we can keep, see what's reusable, see what's trash. Done. Who said demolition was easy? Why did I think this was a good idea? Maybe I should have bought an empty shell step van. Maybe I shouldn't have got one that was already built out by somebody that I would have to rip out and start again. That is my welder slash mechanical friend leaving. We are looking at replacing this. This is wood. This is on the outside of a vehicle. This is poorly painted and will rot. This little lip here is not enough to protect the top of the doors. So we're going to extend that out through about there. Yeah. Replacing all of the wood here just makes a lot of sense. So feels good to get somebody to help me. Because I think this is water damage from the doors leaking. If we put a rain gutter over top, it will protect these things and they may look nice now, but they, I think they've absorbed a lot of cigarette smoke. Like you can even see there's some water staining here. They smell like cigarette smoke, so I'll probably sand them down and paint them white. <laughs>
Dismantled. This is coming down. This is all out. This is out. Done. Done. Yeah. This is just stained, it is dry and it's not moldy. This, however, is damp and moldy. I'm very happy to have at least stripped it to this point. It's been a lot of hard work. I hurt my shoulder halfway through. And yeah, I got quite a bit down about it. Like other things that I'm keeping out of it worth it. Sure, I've got a lot of got a lot of plywood. I've got a stove. I'm gonna sell the big water tank. I'm gonna sell the washing machine that came in it. Both of those things I don't need. I don't know. I guess I'm already on this journey, so let's see where it takes us. I'm giving myself a few months to get this done, and this week I had a bit of a meltdown being like, ah, I'm never gonna get it done by winter. Like, oh, what am I doing? Mainly because it's summer and I'd loaded my calendar up with a whole bunch of other projects, but I also like, I wanna remember that Small little pro small little progress, inch by inch, nail and screw by screw, like it'll get done. And the fact that I've made this much progress today and up till now is super encouraging and I'm really stoked to be continuing and building my new house. It's like a New York apartment size. It's gonna be amazing. And I can't wait to show you the design I have for it, my plans. Yeah, I'm pretty pumped. Thanks for being here, thanks for watching. The next episode will be insulation and windows and deciding what kind of insulation and how much, so.